Praise be Jesus and Mary. Now and forever. Today's first reading, St. John says, We receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. So it's important that we pray and that we work, that we pray for all of our needs and that we work, that is, that we do God's will, that we keep his commandments, avoiding that which is prohibited and doing what pleases him, doing his will, fulfilling the duties of our state in life and those type of things. And St. John, says that uh, we receive whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do his will and do what pleases him. And so if we aren't receiving what we ask for him in prayer, we should probably be examining ourselves and saying, am I keeping his commandments? Am I doing what pleases him? And if I'm not, that could very well be a reason why I'm not receiving what I am asking from God. Saint Dominic and Saint Thomas Aquinas, Saint Scholastica, Saint Catherine of Siena, and other saints said that they always obtained from God whatever they asked. Why? Because they were doing his will. And so this only makes sense, right? The commentary says that it is fitting that if man do the will of God, that God on his part should do the will of man. That is, answer our prayers and give us what we ask of him, presuming we're asking for good things. And our Lord even mentions this in another place of St. John's Gospel. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. And so, prayer and deeds, they go hand in hand. Again, the book of Lamentations says, Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. And so we need to lift up our hearts in prayer, and we need to lift up our hands in good works, fulfilling uh, the will of God, everything that he asks for of us. St. Ignatius of Loyola used to say that we should work as if everything depended upon us, and that we should pray as if everything depended upon God. And even the saint we celebrate today, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, she spoke about these two things, prayer and fulfilling the will of God. She said, we must pray without ceasing in every occurrence and employment of our lives. That prayer, which is rather a habit of lifting up the heart to God as in a constant communication with him. And what was the first rule of our dear Savior's life? You know it was to do his Father's will. Well then, the first end I propose in our daily work is to do the will of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.